Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick little rundown. Um, you may already be playing on PC, but in case you're not, a little quick tutorial on how uh, the best way to play Final Fantasy XIV. The controller. Alright, so, as you probably already know, holding L opens that, holding R opens that. There's also a way you can set it up to where you can just double tap L2 to activate that, double tap R2 to do that. And the reason I have these set up that way is because when you look at the little bars on the top, it actually displays cooldown times, even though they're not on your actual bar. So, for example, that way I'm able to keep track of cooldown times and know when they're ready, which is kind of cool. Uh, another way is to do L2, R2 to open up this bar. Uh, it's just another way to access uh, the bars on the left, since you already have access to double tapping for the bars on the right. And same thing goes for R2, L2 to open up the other end, like so. The only bars you'll need is bar 1 and bar 2. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could add bar 3, but you probably don't need that many. Unless you do. Alright, anyway. Go into settings. Hop bar settings. Obviously, you know, enable crossbar. Duh. And this is the most important one. Always display W, X, H, B. That's uh, you're able to keep track of your cooldowns. Then, custom. Obviously, you want to have these enabled. So, honestly, you don't even have to use crossbar 2. You can use any crossbar. As long as you uh, set them up. Like so. See? Yeah. And that's basically it. Just make sure you have these enabled. Make sure you have the right crossbars. And that's basically it. It seems a lot more complicated than it is. So, yeah, cancel. You can always just swap between the two, as long as you only have skills equipped on those two bars. Super easy. And once you get your muscle memory down, it's literally the easiest way to play Final Fantasy XIV. Yep, that's it. <laughs>